Welcome <clears throat> to this video playing Kampai from yeah, hmm, some South American land, Venezuela maybe, Colombia. Yeah, not not so far off, at least. Okay, so we got a um, um, rule of pass by transposition, the Steinitz variation bit of an outdated line, but uh, not necessarily so bad. It's a bit passive, but... Hmm, but this really... I don't really know. Maybe um, yeah, I get this counter attack on e4, so I wasn't winning um, e5. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, known back back from the day from uh, Laska Tarash and uh, matches like that in the nineteen, the early twentieth century. Nineteen o six, nineteen o eight, something like that. Okay, um, he didn't take on b five surprisingly, so I'm going to take this uh, bishop away to f one trying to keep more pieces on the board as black is a bit cramped in the center and um, the question is how to develop now can go well b3 bishop b2 is um, an interesting way to develop i wonder about d5 though maybe he can play i know he cannot i think because of e7 hanging aha uh -huh. So he's going to try to regroup. <laughs> okay, bishop to f6, probably. And now I'm dropping back. Yeah, that's a fairly solid position for black. It's not very, um, very active, but certainly playable. Mm, yeah, how to proceed? Would like to get, of course, yeah, somewhere the knight to d5, but without, okay, blundering b2 and without exchanging it as well. Not quite sure how. Hmm. Yeah, I think I probably need f3 anyway. So I'll play that. And uh, I'm thinking about maybe bishop a3 and uh, knight d5 then. Hmm. Does he really want to put a piece on d4? Hmm. Or bishop g5? Okay, then I have queen f2. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. This is just to prepare knight to d5 without exposing the b2 bishop oh interesting this is uh, an ambitious way to play queen h4 but i have g3 right this uh, shouldn't worry me so much mm -hmm. but just yeah well this is not so clear I yeah, probably should take here, yeah. Queen takes, queen h4 would have been a bit, bit annoying. Now queen h4, I can really play g3 without any big problem. Yeah, what is he doing really? Queen g5, maybe queen g5 coming. But I don't really understand it, to be honest. If I go g3 here and f4, I just have a big advantage in the center. Queen g5, I go king h1. And then, um, then what exactly? Yeah, I think um, black needs to retreat it. To, uh, to g6, yes. Mm -hmm. And now probably just f4. And uh, yeah, what now? That's, this is interesting. 
maybe simply take on the eight rookie one. Check. Because of the bishop pair, I um, don't have any objection to uh, to trading down to uh, to heavy pieces only. But um, I have some problems with my my king is a bit a bit open. So um, this is something to to consider. Especially with queens on, this could be a problem. I'm I'm trying to do that here. Get him to exchange while I control the e file. And, uh, yeah, if he goes queen e seven now, yeah, the somehow expected that it will be this rather one-sided endgame. I hope. So c four. Check. Yeah. Yeah, I can go to d3, but to e3, I mean, but I have uh, bishop d3 controlling everything nicely. Knight d1 to c3, is this maybe an idea? No, but it shouldn't, it shouldn't really be a problem. Yeah, he, he, he almost must do that. The knight has nowhere else to go. I wonder. Okay, now it uh, he has given given it a square. But if I go bishop c1, what, uh, what happens after that? F5 is dropping, right? He cannot go knight g4, I take on f5, knight h2, king g2, it is trapped. Yeah, I think he needed to try knight d1 to c3. It could be, um, um, it could be um, a journey without any return ticket, but... Yeah, okay, this is just a win now, cannot cannot really uh, go anywhere from g4 has to uh, to drop back i think yeah it has no square from from f2 how to um, to do that Yeah, maybe bishop e3 is the easiest. Check. Time warning. Okay, king here. Knight f2, king e2 is, it is trapped. Yeah, to h1. <laughs> you can still go to h1. Black resigns. Yeah, I don't. I really think the end game, unless uh, the, he has something concrete, very directly, this this end game is this is quite uh, quite a problem. Um, maybe he can check play. Um, not not knight f five. Knight f five is already uh, quite wrong, I believe. He could try to keep it closed, yeah, like like with f5 or something like that. f5, g6, king f7, trying to block everything. But okay, um, the two bishops are quite quite a problem here. This is um, somewhat comparable to some end games that arise from the king's Indian, king's Indian arbor buck. Um, there, the pawn is on c5, and. Um, White is known to be uh, much more comfortable in this type of structure. H3, G4. I'm going to to um, to gain um, lots of space, but this would have been much tougher. I think here it's a bit of a journey with no return. I mean, after this, this is directly losing. But 
probably needs to go here and try to do something with knight c3, but I um, I have my doubts. Bishop c1 is useful anyway. The bishop is bad on a3. And now it gets tricky. If you go here, you really don't know where to go from there. It's um, it's a big problem. And sometimes even the trade is, is, is an issue. Something like that will, will lose the knight again. This is trapped here. Cannot go anywhere. Here, maybe <clears throat> maybe you should try to avoid this, this many exchanges altogether. But um, here, this, uh, this capture is just not good. It's helping me enormously because now the pieces here are getting pushed back after knight f4, g3, h4, f4. All this is coming with the tempo. And uh, at the end, I have this, have this notorious bishop pair. It's not uh, not really good. Shouldn't allow that. Okay. Thanks for watching.